What's going on everybody? Adam here with the trailer Today we're going to be taking a, a look at a pair of Pro Series trailer jacks. So we have two of them. One's going to have a capacity of 2,000 pounds and the other is going to have a capacity of 5,000 pounds. So these are going to be a round tube pipe mount trailer jack. It does come with the little sleeve right here. So if you are just upgrading from a clamp on jack, you are going to be needing someone who knows how to weld and a welder of course and we are going to have to clear off all this powder coat if you have a powder coated frame but whenever you are welding this on i do you do need to pay attention to which side you're welding so notice how this gap's a little bit bigger than the other side you want the larger gap to be towards the trailer frame just so it's actually going to slide on there but if you are just replacing one if you already have a pipe mount just make sure that the outer diameter of the pipe that's on your trailer is going to be two inches. Both of these jacks are going to be a top line jack. I went with that just because we don't really have anything kind of in our way up here. We do have a little cargo carrier, but with this, I like how I can kind of just stand up and wind it like that. So I'm not, I don't have to really get down and kind of go like that or get on the ground. This is a little bit easier for me, but if you do have a decent amount of stuff on the front. You want to make sure that we're not going to be hitting any of that whenever we're winding up. So that's kind of nice. And it does really, it pivots, which it's really tight to pivot, but we can loosen this bolt up a little bit to counteract that. But that's why we went with the top wind. Just to give you an idea of how long this is, the handle basically to the middle of the knob is going to be a about seven inches and then all the way to the end of the knob is going to be about seven and three quarters of an inch so that gives you an idea you don't have a huge lever but i don't really mind that just because i'm not sitting there completely using my whole entire arm length but the nice thing about having this kind of trailer jack is we can pivot it up but we are going to have to pull this pin so that's what we'll do to install it but we can rotate it around and the reason why we went with this one is because it's a super, super tight fit. So basically, every single time I put this up, I have it all the way up, which is about 14 and a half inches. And as you can see right here, it is literally perfect. We have a tiny, tiny gap on this side by the trailer tongue. And then up by our cargo carrier, we have a tiny gap as well. So the range with this right here, it's going to be about 14 and a half inches but it can go all the way up to 29 and a half inches. I really like that just because I really don't like cranking down for a long time. So with this, I'm at the shortest distance with this jack. So there's only about a couple inches here and it is gonna take me a little bit of time to get it all the way down. And it does kind of make a little bit of noise. So it is gonna be a little bit louder than some of those clamp on jacks but it really doesn't take me a whole lot of time to do it and this is actually really easy this is quite a heavy tongue it's pretty heavy has a decent amount of tongue weight but i'm not really feeling that over here so you really don't need a whole lot of strength to get this thing jacked up installing this is going to take a little bit of thinking so we want to really hit that sweet spot so with us we have it right here, so it's not too close to the center tongue, and it's not too back to where it'll hit our cargo carrier. So you do want to make sure that you put it in the right spot. But for us, basically what we kind of did, this is already in here. So if you figure out a place where you want to put the inner tube, just kind of measure from that. And for us, it was about 11 inches to the closest little point. So from that all the way up, it's about 10 and three quarters of an inch. So it was really close. And that's why we went with this one, just because it's nice and tight. And I really like that. And then also when it's in its lowest position from the center of that tube all the way down, it's about 16 inches, which worked out. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind. Placement is going to be key. And obviously once you weld this thing on, it's going to be kind of tough to get it off. So do your measurements, make sure you know exactly what you're working with and then just install accordingly. 
Both of these jacks are gonna have 15 inches of travel. So a lot of the times I have a couple different vehicles that I tow my trailer with. So one of them's a little bit taller. So I'm not always gonna use a decent amount of lift, but sometimes I'm really not gonna use much at all. So with 15 inches of lift, that's gonna cover me for sure for both of my vehicles. As far as the jack goes, the outer tube is gonna have a diameter of two and a half inches. It's gonna be powder coated, so it's not gonna rust over time. And then the inner tube is gonna have a diameter of two inches and it is zinc plated. So it isn't going to need that powder coat and it's not gonna rust away over time. The foot plate is pretty beefy. So it's about seven inches in length and about four inches in width. And I like how this is bent. So usually metal's a lot stronger when it's pre-bent. So you shouldn't really have this thing bend on you. Cause if it does bend, we're not gonna be able to replace it. And there is no wheel that we can really add on to here either. But it is a pretty thick plate and I don't think we're gonna have any issues with it bending or anything like that. A nice thing about our setup right now is we're really not gonna use a whole lot of lift. So majority of this inner tube is gonna stay in the bigger tube. So the less amount of this tube that is out, the stronger it's gonna be. So we're not gonna bend this thing and it works out pretty well. And I don't really have to crank down on it to lift up my coupler that much at all. The Pro Series is gonna be an entry level trailer jack. You know, there's not any maintenance that's required. It's definitely on the lower end, but it gets the job done. If you were to want to maybe get something a little bit beefier, we can look at this Bulldog one. This one is gonna have a little grease zerk, so it'll probably last a little bit longer just because we can continue to keep that grease in there to keep all those gears nice and protected from the elements. And this one is gonna be a little bit beefier. They both have about 5,000 pound lift capacities when you go with the heavier Pro Series. But with this one, it also just has a massive foot plate compared to the other one. So we have a lot of them on our website and I would definitely say that they're all gonna get the job done, but it all just depends on you. This one's gonna be beefier, but the Pro Series is gonna get the job done. And that'll do it for a look at the Pro Series 5,000 and 2,000 pound trailer jack.